Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We did a review of five of the Android 5.1 top of the line, best of the best watches and completely excluded this entire grouping you're about to see today. Wow, look at my fingers. Whoa, I could have fun with that. Sorry, I get distracted easily. Um, the other watches you saw, the five of them, all fall into an implementation of Android 5.1, which is completely different than the implementation on the watches from Final, Number One, and a little bit from Limfo. So these best of the best five watches here represent that grouping of Android 5.1. It's a bit confusing. These, um, these are real solid workhorse watches. Most of these are fine out. And we're going to jump into them and take a look at why they've made this little list of the top five uh, best of the best of this class of watch. Let's start with the quintessential number one D5+. Plus. It's a follow-on to the original D5, and it uh, uses a dock, and I've left the docks on here so you can see the other watches we looked at. Most of them use just a wire to charge connected to the pins, but all of these actually use a fancy dock kind of an arrangement. So when you get into this grouping of watches, you get into the kind that use the dock. So let's take a quick look at this D5+. Plus. It's smaller. Its its display is small. So when you're talking about people with smaller wrists, um, there's really only two on the market right now that work for that. All of the ones we saw before were large and larger. Um, this is medium. There's really nothing really, really small in terms of an Android 5.1 watch. This is as small as you're going to get. So you have the D5 Plus with a leather band. And on the back, you can see it's got the charging dock, the speaker back here, and the heart rate monitor. Um, it's a good, solid watch. A lot of people swear by this. And again, we're not getting into technical details. We have reviews on all of these, and there'll be links in the show notes below, and probably some buttons to push at the end, that will take you to where you can watch the full review of each of these watches. A lot of people swear by this. This was my first major smartwatch that started this whole channel was the uh, original D5. Uh, it's, it's a very good watch. Similar to this would be the Final uh, number, uh, the, the Final X1 Plus, except it never got released by Final. There was an X1 and a D5. Then there was a D5 Plus, and there's a prototype of the X1 Plus but there never was, oops, a commercial version that came out. So you're not going to find this kind of a watch with one button in silver or black in the small screen in any other way except the D5+. Plus. That said, you're not going to find another watch with these recessed two buttons except for the X3+, Plus with the small screen. Again, we've got a dock. It has a different two cutouts. The docks are not interchangeable on these two watches. They will be on these. Um, so you got to keep the dock with the watch and that's how it works. This is very, very similar size and appearance overall, except you notice in black it makes the watch look a little smaller, doesn't it? And the fact that the buttons are subdued on the side and you have two of them and it doesn't stick out, that adds to its ability to look a little bit smaller, too. Now, I'm holding them right side by side. That's the distance from the camera. Okay. Again, um, different bands. This is the leather band. This is more the sports silicone kind of band. But the backing is very similar. They're metal backs, too, by the way. I didn't mention that on the other five, but it's obvious to see when you look at the video which ones have a, a metal back and which ones have a plastic back. These are really solidly built watches. The one button kind you can only get as a D5 plus. The two button kind you can only get as an X3 plus. There was never a number one version of the watch that came out like this. So for the ladies, for the smaller wristed uh, people, this is uh, 
the two, these are the two choices that you have in terms of watches. So what, do you like the leather band or do you like the silicone band? Now we go to the larger screen watches. We're sticking with the Finau line, and this is the X5 Plus right here. Now, the X5 Plus and all of these other ones are the larger screen. You can tell. Let's compare them. Here's black against black. Considerably larger screen. Again, it uses a dock, and that dock is a thin little thing. It's a, like a potato chip, and it just floats. And the really cool thing is this stock will work on all of these large format screened watches. Okay? You can have um, that dock and move it to the other ones, and it works just fine. I do that all the time. In fact, I don't even know which watch this dock actually originally came with. So that's the dock. The X5 Plus from Finau has the leather band. And its layout on the bottom is, again, similar to the other ones we just looked at. Let's look at the number one. You've got the charging port. Now, the buttons are on the left side, so you see they've moved the uh, charging connectors to the other side. The speaker's up at the top, and it's a solid metal uh, back. Now, on all of these, I hope you're noticing, too, that there's no way to put the SIM card in here except to take the back off completely on all of these. The same thing. Of course, we're looking really at only two different companies here, number one and Finau, and number one's entry, this one, is um, basically the same as Finau. So you're kind of looking at one generic watch design philosophy, whereas in the other five that we saw, different companies made completely different watch uh, casings. Here... We've got the uh, three different buttons that you've got, an SOS kind of a button and the on-off button, all that. Again, the reviews get into the technical detail. This is more just a look and feel of this. What kind would you like? The X5 Plus comes in silver or black. And um, I wanted to show you its peer, which is the LEM5 watch. Now, the LEM5 is exactly, exactly, did I say exactly the same as the X Plus? There really are no differences here. The only thing is the band. Now, they both are leather bands. It's just there's a little bit of a sporty band in the LEM5, whereas the X Plus is more of a plain dressy band, I guess you could call it. The clasps are the same. The layout on the bottom is the same. The operating system inside is the same. They start up and shut down a little bit differently. This has Lympho on it, LEM5, and this doesn't. Um, but other than the tiny changes in the firmware, they're basically identical. Oh, all the watch faces, they're custom faces from here and there that I've collected over time. And there's other videos that show you how to get these uh, custom faces and put them on your watches. All of these watches use the same technique for installing these watch faces, because they're all from that same class of Android 5.1. So when you buy into Finau or Number One or Lempho with this one particular entry, the LEM5, when you buy into that class of Android, you're getting um, the same everything. Case design, method of installing watch faces, all of that stuff. Okay. Let's run through them again, and I'll take the little thingy off and show you the other item we pointed out in the first grouping, and that was the uh, boundary between the bezel and the watch face itself, the actual pixels that light up. I've chosen different watch faces that you can see that black barrier here, and unfortunately, across the board, all of these watches you're going to see have a pretty pronounced black ring around them. They're not edge to edge like we saw in the Y3, for example, in the first group of five watches. That's characteristic of this class. It has not changed yet, but you know what? These are all overdue for a bump up. They really are. Find out number one, and Lympho to an extent should be putting out new watches in this grouping very, very soon, and we're really hoping it'll be edge to edge technology. 
and maybe more memory. These are flat bezel watches. You see edged, uh, not edge to edge screen, but edge to edge as far as glass to metal. So it makes for swiping really easy. And there's a couple of different ways that the operating system is laid out in these. You can see how this one is working. I'll show you that when I touch one of these other ones and it looks different, okay? And um, what else? Single button on this one that turns it on and off. That's the uh, D5 Plus. This is what it looks like on. Do it all integrated this time instead of adding that at the very end. Okay, it's a very attractive watch, very popular watch. I would say amongst this class of watches, the D5 Plus has been the most selling, the most popular. And in the other class of watches, it's the KW88. That's the hot one. All right, so that's the D5 Plus. Then the X3 Plus. Well, look, the boundary is the same. Now, the bezel being black doesn't stand out as strongly as it does in the silver. So I don't know. You know, I mean, it's really obvious where the black is here. It's not as obvious here, but because it's not as obvious, it actually looks thicker, you know, making the whole watch content look smaller. So it's kind of your judgment call. What do you want? Really, if I were deciding between these two for a small-wristed person, I would be deciding based on the band. This kind of band, you can get a little wet. You can have fun with it. Uh, personally, I like it better. It's more flexible than the leather band. If you're going to be wearing a dress watch, if you want this thing to look elegant, then the leather band, of course, but don't get it wet. These bands are not replaceable on any of these watches, and if they get wet, they're going to swell up, and they're going to degrade, and they're not going to last as long. So if you're not deciding based on the number of buttons on it, then decide on the band. That's kind of the, the main thing if everything else is basically the same. So that's the X3 Plus. Whoa, there we go. Now we get back to these guys. The X5 Plus in black with the three buttons and the little black barrier around the edge. It's, it's not as pronounced. Of course, you can't see it as much on the black. So let's bring up the silver and check it out there. You see it's there, but it's much more subdued. So when you get to the larger format watch, you also get a larger edge-to-edge -edge display area. Again, the bezels are flat. They're not raised like we saw in the KW88 and some of the others. And they're both leather band. There is no way of getting the silicone rubbery kind of band on a large format watch. It just doesn't come that way. Not on the X5 Plus, not on the uh, LEM5. And then the Q1, why, or Q3, Q3 sorry. Uh, why the Q3? Uh, well, because it's in a bit of a class by itself. It's the same size as these other ones here. It's one button. It's less expensive, significantly less expensive generally, especially when it's on sale, than either uh, of these. Um, but it's got a plastic back on it. Okay? The quality isn't quite as high on the Q3, but the operating system is basically the same. The way you put in the watch face is the same. The silver is extremely shiny. Hi, everybody. Um, I don't know. It depends on if you like that. When you put it on, it looks like this. It's definitely going to be an attention getter. It's going to be people will shield their, their eyes in the sun because of the bright reflection off of your watch with this one. But it's, uh, it's, it's less expensive. Same quality leather band, I'm pretty sure, that you'll find on... It's Pier, the X5. And both of these are from Finau, right? Okay. Uh, so they're the same company doing this. It's the same design. The cases are the same in the back, the way the speaker's laid out. And like I said, the dock is universal. It slaps onto all of these the same. There, 
there. Same, same. Okay, so they're really, uh, you know, it's, it's a matter, in this case, it's a matter of fashion and price. Do you like the really bright silver and single button and lower price? Ignoring the plastic on the back. I mean, it's okay. The plastic is fine. Silver, uh, the, the, the metal is okay. Uh, it's not something I would be deciding on, whether it's a metal or plastic back. I'd be really taking into consideration the look and feel and design of the buttonology and button layout. Um, and what do you want in your band? Because other than those little subtle differences, they're pretty much the same watch. But they're all three really good watches, which makes them part of the top five recommendation from this grouping of watches that are the Finau, number one, and little info, only the LEM5, that work all the same way. All right. For those of you who are all concerned and upset that I totally didn't even talk about these kind of watches in that first group of five, now you got ten to sort through. Again, comparing these five to each other, they're almost identical. The black barrier is a little larger on the smaller watch than it is on the bigger watch. You have a couple of them that have smaller diameter, and the rest of these other three are bigger diameter. When you compare these, any of these, to any of the first five, now you have something to look at. You could grab one of these and say, what does the LEM5 look like compared to the KW88? Sorry, you guys. Um, and so forth. Uh, the, L the LES uh, the LES1, the new 16 gigabyte one that we talked about. How does that stack up and compare against these? Look at the... Um, the way that the case is designed on them. Look at the height of the bezel. Look at the, uh, like I said, the, the boundary around there. Is it edge to edge? Is it really uh, a lot of black? And decide whether you want to deal with a leather band or whether you want to work with the silicone rubber sports kind of a band. Now you've narrowed it down from infinite to 10, right? And from the 10, you should be able to quickly go to f one of five, whether you like this kind or whether you like one of the other kind. And from there, you should be able to make your decision. Hope these videos are helping. Um, there's a whole new crop of watches starting to come out with that KW98 that isn't on the market yet. The LES-1, first 16 gigabyte one that's coming out. There's more on the way. And some brand new things coming from number one that we haven't seen before that are Android-based watches that might have things like NFC in them. Whoo! Lots of fun stuff to come. Please subscribe if you haven't, and uh, we'll be back soon.